Ladies and gentlemen, Russell Kane. Good evening, Australia. You all right? Yeah. It's great to be here, cos uh, you watch all the uh, Londoners walking around, they're really thrown by how friendly Australia is, cos we want to be miserable and everyone's saying good day and you feel like you're about to be stabbed, cos that's what would happen back home. But Melbourne freaks you out, cos there's no in-between people in Melbourne, none. It's just like, especially in the evening, it's just lots of middle-class people going, let's go to the theatre, let's laugh at the spoken word, come Jemima, come Miranda, it'll be fun. <laughs> Maybe there'll be something about badges of jam or even Iran. We need to think about it while we're laughing. Come, come. Right? <laughs> and then no one, then someone comes out of the nightclub and goes, can I stab you in the face, mate? And no... I just love watching people panic at the end of the night, going, quickly, it's nightfall, we're not safe. Head back to Turak with our hummus. We're not safe, quickly, quickly. <laughs> <laughs> It's great. I, they, I, and I, what I love is the way Australians are just uh, unironically proud of where they live. Like, people from England can't wait to say, even if it's London, I come from London, but it's shit. They can't wait to hate where they're from. And Australians are, well, it's a nice little place. It's not much, but we like it, wherever you're from. And uh, you took me to, they took me to Chinatown, and instantly, or the only thing where English people invert, as soon as they're off the plane, they're overly proud of where they live. England's rubbish, England's rubbish, that's foreign soil. England's rubbish, Eng England's the best place in the world, if anyone's seen anything about it. <laughs> And uh, we're being taken to uh, Chinatown. It's like, you're going to love Chinatown. It's like a little village. It's really good fun in Melbourne. You're really... And all the London people are like, we've got one of those back home, mate. You know, London head syndrome. Cockney head, so severe. <laughs> My dad's got Cockney head, so severe, he actually sprains it when he's being racist. That's how absolutely... <laughs> He can climb the stairs with the traction of it. You better not be reading up there, you loser. <laughs> not my son, not a reader. And, uh... <laughs> I went to Chinatown and... Uh... It was, it was amazing. All the Londoners would be like, oh, we got one of those back home. And they shut up when they saw you had a proper little Chinatown. Not like Chinatown London. Who's been to Chinatown London? Who's been? <laughs> Look at everyone, basic backpack year stuff. Carry on, carry on, your pover. Why... <laughs> Why would we go to London? We go to Africa. Look, brown person, photo. <laughs> <laughs> All we've got in London for you is one Chinese street. We're so, look at our Chinatown. All it is is just one Chinese street right in the corner of Leicester Square next to the Gay Street. Get in the corner. Everyone who's different, get in the corner. Gays and Chinese in the corner of London. Get in the corner. <laughs> That's all we've got is just one Gay Street next to the... Do you reckon at the end of that street there's one gay Chinaman going, I'm in heaven right now. I'm not sure. <laughs> look at that, he's done an accent. I'm not comfortable with that, Ollie. I'm not comfortable. And, uh, cover me in copies of The Age. And, uh... <laughs> I, know, I love his uh, New Zealand as well, cos back home, like, you guys have got the terror threats as well. It's so sad to see happy Australia with no, no, no belt, no shoes, take off your trousers, take off your jacket, you might die on this flight, it's horrible. Yeah. I hate going through that metal detector barefoot holding my trousers out like that. Please let me die with my boxer shorts on, please. <laughs> let me die with my cardigan. And, uh, and you go to New Zealand, it's about the only country, cos they don't have an army, they've just got President Gandalf, whatever's going on. And, uh, <laughs> Come in, mate. A country so benign and friendly that the national bird, a fatty lump of meat, didn't even bother to evolve wings. There's no point. We're so friendly. No one's going to barbie me here, mate. <laughs> Every Australian animal's like that. We're going to be cooked. <laughs> and, uh, the number one terror threat at a New Zealand airport, bearing in mind what you hear if you get on in Australia or in England, no sharp objects, nothing that explodes. You might die at any moment. In New Zealand, as soon as you get off the first warning, not the second, the first, it is absolutely forbidden to bring in or take out fruit to New Zealand. Fruit! <laughs> Could you imagine if that was the number one terror threat of the... Would you mind moving that nail bomb? I think I've seen a guava. Would you mind moving that nail bomb? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, just a short spot from me. I've been Russell Kane. Thank you very much. Good night.